this kit has been kindly supplied to me by Fan Home. If you'd like to build your own, there's a link in the description below. Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models. Welcome to issue two of building the Infinity Gauntlet from the Infinity Saga. Uh, in this issue, we're going to be doing some more work with the Mind Stone. Well, I say more. We're starting with the Mind Stone, the big one. I didn't know which one goes where. I still don't. I, I know the Mind Stone now is the big yellow one. Um, I've seen the films, but I haven't read the comics. And I, pictures that I looked up do seem to have them in different places, depending on what you look at. So I don't know if there is a set sort of canon arrangement for them, but you know, we're going to be doing them as the magazine tells us. Uh, in the saga of the Gauntlet, we're looking at the debut of Thanos, the Mad Titan, uh, obviously in the comics. Um, yeah, he seems to be, uh, he's purple. I don't know, is that, is that him or is that someone else? I'm going to spend a lot of time saying I don't know looking at these. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Right. The Infinity Gauntlet, the Mind Stone. We get the stone and the electronics for it. And another chunk of the back of the gauntlet for this one. Uh, so let's have a look through. We're going to be doing the building, putting the circuitry in the, in the big bit. Then fitting the big bit next to the other big bit. And that will be what we've done today. We're keeping hold of the, the gem and the springs. Obviously, we need the rest of the assembly to build next time i believe certainly not yet um cosmic saga looking at adam warlock enemy or ally i don't know i don't know you can read the words and find out if you don't know him yourself there we go i guess he's a warlock judging by his name uh mike friedrich from fan to creator all oh, right he was obviously a fan of the comics and then started doing some creating things from them uh three key issues that he's done Iron Man, Captain Marvel, and Captain America, and the book. There we go. Right, that is that. Let me clear this out of the way. We'll have a look at the parts, and then we'll get them assembled. Okay, here are the parts in today's pack. Now, these bits were just floating around loose at the back of the, uh, the gauntlet piece. I can't see that they could be anywhere. I don't think they've broken off. They don't look, you know, well finished, although they do look like they've got little bits of welding on them in places so i shall keep them safe uh and if need be i can sort of stick them in place or whatever but i don't think they're necessary they're probably like off cuts from when it was manufactured but they don't seem to be missing as far as i can tell uh so that is that uh that's the circuit we've got obviously the face bit for it the gem which we're not doing anything with as yet uh, another bundle of screws the two springs that, again, we're keeping for later. I shall put them with the gem over there to keep till later. Uh, same as we had last time, the magnet holding things. Uh, and the magnets are, again, fitted onto these as they are on that. Uh, so uh, let's have a go. Uh, now, one thing while I'm doing this, uh, I didn't get any magnet, any magnets. Uh, I didn't get any uh, batteries with this issue. Now I've got batteries with the the box, came with a pack of three batteries, which I used in the other one. Should just pop on there, but it's not popping. There it is. Make sure you get this fully down like I didn't last time. Um, yes, I didn't get any batteries for this. Now I have sourced some, I've got my own batteries for it, because it does say to fit them now. But uh, they're, they do say batteries will be supplied, and I'm sure they will be. But batteries are a, a consumable item, so if you do have to supply some of your own, you obviously will be replacing them at some point, assuming you have it lit up occasionally. So uh, it's not a big deal to have to supply some batteries. Um, so your uh, your mileage may vary. They they did only say in the packing slip that the one set of three batteries was supplied. So uh, I, I got what they said they sent me, but whether they should have sent me two, I don't know. It's obviously going to be a pack of three batteries for each of the stones. Um, I'm not sure when the next stones will be arriving. So the, the build uh, sort of timetable 
is unknown to me. So uh, just getting the two screws in to hold the circuit board in place. That needs to go in a lot further than that. I don't, this screwdriver is not particularly good. I'm going to retire that and bring out my own screwdriver for doing this. As it's going to work much better than theirs. So that's going in there. Take that back out and put it back in. Spread is not ideal on that. I shall have a look at that later, but it's not a, not a big deal, not a problem at the moment. Uh, let's pop the batteries in here and make sure it lights up. One. So, uh, these are better quality batteries than the supplied ones, so in theory they should last longer. Um, but in practice, for the amount it's going to get used, it doesn't make a great deal of difference one way or the other. So uh, yeah, pop those in there. Like that, let's just check. Oh, blimey, I was looking right at it. That's very, very bright. It's also bright white, so obviously it's going to be nice and yellow coming through there once that gets assembled. Uh, that's that. That is held in place the same with one screw going through these. All of these screws are the same. They're all labelled. Well, they're not labelled. They're called in the book screw 01. So, uh, yeah, that's what we've got. Now these magnets are held in place again with those bits uh, and am I putting these on? I am. I'm putting the screw over there as well uh, and the other bit we're going to be putting the screws in to hold that in place to make sure the magnet can't escape. Uh, so I'll get those done. I'll see about getting that tightened and I shall come back and show you patching it all together. Right, that's that all in and done up. Uh, these screws are not going all the way flush, but I have looked at it in relation to these and they certainly go in and it, it magnetizes perfectly acceptably on both sides. So I'm happy with how that's going in. It obviously don't need to be hidden away. Uh, so that's that. Um, these now get attached together like so. They lock in place. A bit like that, and there are six screws to hold these two together. That's huge. It's massive. It's lovely and huge. So six screws to hold these in place, three at the top, three at the bottom. Um, I can't see where they are now. I'll put that in there. Get there. Yes. One there. Which will go through a bit like that. That is holding that in place. I haven't tightened these down yet. It's always worth getting all of the screws in before tightening the first one down, as I'll say repeatedly throughout this build. There we go, there's one there. Also a good idea to sort of alternate the sides rather than just putting all of them in, starting at the top, to make sure everything lines up as it should. So I'm going up and down, up and down on all of this. That one there. And then once they're all in place and you know everything lines up where it should, obviously you can go back, tighten them all. One doesn't seem to be holding. Might need a little bit of tweaking and adjusting. I would say bending, but you're not going to be able to bend these. These are immense. Just going to be a case of getting things lined up nicely. Make sure I'm supporting it in the right place rather than just trying to bend it in, into place. Not feeling right. I shall take that back apart and see why that is so. Definitely that one because the other ones are, are visible through. It's definitely got to go in there, but yeah, that's not quite stuck there. So it might need a little bit of manipulation to get it to bite. So I shall get that sorted. Then we'll come back and see how it looks. I'll put it partially together for you. Okay, that's all of the screws in nice and tight. Uh, that one was giving me a problem. Or is it that one? That one was giving me a problem. But I've replaced the screw. Luckily, I've got lots of spares, which I've put all the spare ones from the first two issues into their own little bag. 
Uh, I've got another bag there with those two bits that are probably rubbish, but I'll keep them just in case. And the two springs for next time. And obviously that's being kept aside for later as well. So that is it. That is the knuckle area. Uh, we've obviously got that, which is going to go in there just like so. Obviously with that over the top of it. Uh, and we've already got, let's say, the lighting up of that and of that. Obviously the whole surround thing for that to go over there. But for now, that is what we have. And it is quite huge. You can see it's already bigger than my hand. And that is literally just the back knuckle piece. There's a whole, obviously, fingers surround and the arm piece that comes, well, all the way up my arm, basically. But that's that. That is another issue complete. So I shall keep aside the pieces that it says to keep aside. Uh, that will obviously magnet in, as does first gem. Uh, um, obviously, you can take them out if you want to cosplay or whatever and don't have all the stones. But I'm assuming that they're really coming out so you can get to and change the batteries when you need to. So uh, that's that. Uh, I, the next delivery is, in fact, out for delivery uh, with another four or I think five issues in it for me. And so uh, I'm waiting on that. When they turn up, I shall obviously continue the build and do some more. There are other builds coming up on the channel, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, thank you again for Fan Home for sending me the, the kit. And uh, I shall see you very shortly for the next. Bye bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.